Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate. This particular trip was very interesting. It's one where I got a hundred dollar tip. So as you can see here, I'm just pulling up to the pickup location. It's a Tuesday night. It's a small local bar. And I really wasn't expecting too much from this because it was only like 7.30 at night or so, maybe a little bit later. So I pull up here and I see the bartender looking out the door, kind of looking, she's talking to people and saying basically that the car is here. And I let them know that I'm here for a passenger and she goes back inside. A little while after that, someone else comes out and this is what happens. How's it going? He said, here's a hundred dollars for you. Okay. okay. And he's coming with her. Okay. And so hang on. All right. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I get a hundred dollars before the passenger even gets in the car. Now, a dishonest person would have canceled the ride and driven off. And I was kind of thinking... What am I in for now? So I start getting things ready in the car because as I'm looking, the woman that's going to be transported is barely able to stand up and I don't want a mess made all over my car. After about five minutes of cajoling, because this woman was very inebriated, we do finally manage to get her in the car. As we were going around the back, I mentioned to the gentleman that was accompanying her that I had an emesis bag in there, and he said, oh, don't worry, she's a pro, she won't puke. And fortunately for me, that was true. So we finally get this lady to her house. We get her out of the car. I happen to notice that her phone is sitting on the back seat of the car. I grab that, and the gentleman asks me if I can give him a ride back to the bar that we just came from. And of course, I'm happy to oblige because he gave me $100 cash. So why do I bring this up? Why am I mentioning this trip? Well, I had been having an okay night of driving. The requests had been steady. They were typically long mile trips that you would expect in upstate New York. But I was really happy that I was able to get this woman home safely. And then, of course, I got the gentleman who requested the ride back to the bar safely. And I'm hoping he got home safely, too, that he didn't drive home because he'd had a few drinks, too. All that to say, you never know what to expect when you pick someone up from a local bar and... One of the things that is really nice about being a rideshare driver is that you get to help people get home safely. Was this the best ride ever? No, nah, I wouldn't say so. I had to wait around quite a bit. But this is one of those unique rides where you're able to say, I did something good today and I helped someone out. My name is John from Ride Upstate reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.